top vitamins and minerals to help prevent getting infected with the coronavirus and then best able to fight it off if you do get it so you have a mild as illness as possible and fingers crossed you make it to the other side of the coming coronavirus storm I've grouped them into three areas this side which will help prevent the most important this section which will help fight off infection and uh, this for general boost of your immune system minerals so what's the number one thing you need to know is that you need vitamin D there are a number of scientific studies that vitamin D help prevent uh, respiratory tract infections from taking place now you can go to the BMJ website and read the studies there there are a number so how much to take well you've got to be careful buying it from the shops because they usually be very low strength now uh, you want to aim for a minimum of 1000 IU or 25 micrograms which is precisely what this one is it's 1000 IU and 25 micrograms so that is the minimum that you should aim for whereas this one is mainly for absorbing calcium it only has 100 what have you got? 125 IU that is pretty rubbish that's 3 micrograms that's not enough however if you do go to the supermarket and they don't have any high strength you can always take more than one tablet right? if you get one say that's got uh, 5 micrograms per tablet well you just take 5 of them to get to 25 and this one is what I'm taking 4000 IU that's 100 micrograms of uh, vitamin D3 and remember it is the D3 version most that will be sold will be D3 but just double check to make sure that you're not getting D2 it won't say D2 it'll just say vitamin D uh, you want to make sure it's D3 that's the best one that's the most readily absorbed by the body and 4000 IU is is the maximum you should be taking per day don't go overboard and take double it won't help you just be wasting your money and this one is like I say 100 micrograms so aim for a minimum of 25 micrograms per day go check out the studies that vitamin D prevents respiratory tract infections i.e. will block viruses and bacteria so this is number one thing that you need if you don't get anything else just get vitamin D today and start taking it from today this will save your life literally vitamin D could save your life and next we call it the immune system booster it's vitamin C now you can take it from fruits such as oranges which are about 70 uh, milligrams roughly of vitamin C per orange however if you're coming down with the flu or with a virus infection such as the coronavirus then it can be useful to boost your immune system to fight off the infection by taking one gram of vitamin C per day now I don't know if it's going to benefit taking it before you start showing symptoms or not maybe just have a small dose like say a couple of oranges a day before like if you're fine absolutely fine a couple of oranges a day you get about 140 150 milligrams then if you start feeling ill if you start got any symptoms then start taking one gram but this is the main one again vitamin d3 and then we have a string of multivitamins and minerals got a multivitamin a various strength then you got the, the big dose vitamins that's got that's got 60 grams 60 milligrams of vitamin c in there got some vitamin d vitamin e everything in there vitamin b's so you might best off paying you know extra and getting a decent multivitamin rather than a smaller one this is all right for children yeah well, if you're an adult you might want to get something with higher strength they don't cost much like this was I think 10 pounds but this vitamin D3 was uh, just 9 pounds it's got 400 tablets so I know the supermarkets they tend to overcharge like for 90 tablets you might end up paying 
eight pounds, I think. Something like this would cost you eight pounds from the supermarket. The vitamin D high strength, you only get about 90 tablets. With this one off Amazon, you know, four times as powerful, 400 tablets, four times as many, for a similar price. So you're probably better off getting online, but if you haven't got any vitamin D3, then do go to the supermarket and get some today. So you got the, the multivitamins, and then you got omega-3 fish oil. It's a small boost to the immune system if you're deficient in fat, fatty acids. It helps, it, it won't harm. And of course then you've got vitamin B3, which is a general uh, boost to, for your cells. It, it's supposed to play a role in aging, so but the jury's out on that, but it will help your immune system to some degree. Well, it helps the cells, it make, make for healthier cells. And I take 500 milligrams a day of nicotinamide, not nicene, there's two versions, I take vitamin B3, not nicotine, not what's it called, nice, nice in, I take nicotinamide, so get that version, if you want to get it, like these are sec tertiary, of, of tertiary importance, they're like more long term health, you know, they're not going to affect the coronavirus, surviving the coronavirus too much, this will help if you get ill, this is a must vitamin D. So basically, if, you, if you've got nothing, go get vitamin D first, then get a good multivitamin, then get some vitamin C. You can always get your vitamin C from fruit, such as oranges. It's only really useful if you get ill. I don't think it prevents you from getting a, a, a virus or a flu. It just helps your immune system fight it better. Whereas vitamin D3 can help prevent getting infected. It, doesn't, it makes it harder for the virus and bacteria to infect your respiratory tract. So it's not easier for the virus to get a hold and then it's slower in, a, in, in the progress of the disease. It makes it life harder for the virus. So it gives you a better chance for your immune system to play catch up and kill the virus and reduce the intensity of your illness. So it literally could save your life. So do get vitamin D and then get some vitamin C if you really can, don't have, there's no urgency for that unless you're ill, starting to fall ill. And of course get a vitamin D, which gives you some of everything, a multivitamin. Get a good strength one, no point in messing about with the weak strength ones that are in the supermarket. Oh, there's also this DHE, which is more for men. Helps boost your natural testosterone overall, you know, improves the state of your uh, immune system, the strength of your body, only a marginal difference to the virus. But it makes, same as this, only margin, it'll make only marginal difference, if any. But it helps strengthen your body. Similarly, this one will make marginal difference, but it'll help strengthen your cell health. So it'll, it will play a marginal difference, like one percent, two percent. Whereas this one could, well, if you're deficient in vitamin D, which you likely are, considering that it's winter, so this will make a massive difference. This could make the difference between life and death. Anyway, they're the supplements to survive the coronavirus outbreak, pan global pandemic. And in the UK, we just have a short window. Look, look what's happening in Italy. They've gone from where about 12, about two weeks ago, where the UK is, they were. So they had about 350 cases, we got 350. Now look at it, they've got about 600 deaths. Uh, I don't know how many cases, at least 6,000. So it's more than 20 fold. That's what's gonna to come to the UK. So the time to act is today. Get some vitamin D3. If you don't do anything else, get some vitamin D3. Everything else can wait. Like you got your oranges anyway. You're getting your vitamin C and you're getting from food, you'll get minerals from food. So these are like, not as important as this. Because you're not getting sun anyway. There's no sun out there. So you'll be deficient in vitamin D3. 
59p, that's cheap. Get more. How many? How many 59 people stop the virus? I Vitamin C. I told you that not. Big ones there. Let's get the big one up there. Come on, Liza. <laughs> what else? Tangerines, man. Is that a yeah. One, yeah, get them. Not only 59p. That is cheap though. I can Less touch than half price. I can touch candy. What else should we get? Stop the virus. Lemons. Oh look, that one's got that one's infected with something. Get this one. We should get more oranges. Mm. Even Pick more oranges. Pick all the oranges. Go on then. Put it in. That's it. Put it in. Put it in the trolley then. Okay. Plenty of oranges. I don't think we're going to be able to eat all that. Potassium in bananas. None left. Nuts are good to stop to get a virus. Yeah, Here's nuts. Five nuts. Whoa. Lots of nutrition in nuts, fatty acids. Whee. Two for one fifty, that's cheap. Um there's not much in them. What's in it? So How many? 55 grams, that's nothing. Put them back. 55 grams, that's 150 for 110 grams. It's not cheap. Even though they're half price, they're not cheap. But they'll, at least they'll help stop getting the coronavirus. Which nuts do you want? Liza? Which nuts do you want? To stop getting the virus. Yeah. Ooh, oh, mixed nuts. These might be cheap. There's a lot of volume in them. Sweets? Yeah. I don't think they'll help you. Pick and mix, anti coronavirus pick and mix. Oh, leave them, get some sweets from here. It's cheaper. <laughs>